Kusha Charging Touch has a 50% fire damage reduction. It is possible for an overheal Demoman to survive the Pirate's Hadouken Taunt. When the Demoman charges with the shield, he is running at 32 miles an hour, which is faster than Usain Bolt's top speed of 27.33 miles per hour. Solemn Vows, a statue which is based on Hippocrates, who is known as the father of modern medicine. The crafting blueprint requires eight Gerates, which is a reference to Hippocrates' work in early urology, where he often drank urine samples from his patients. If you know 25 of these 205 TF2 weapon facts, you can consider yourself a TF2 expert, so keep count. Lit arrows for both of the bows are not extinguished when going underwater. The advertised label of the Bonk Atomic Punch states the Bonk contains 11,000% of the daily recommended allowance of sugar. With the daily recommended allowance of sugar being 30 grams, the Bonk will weigh a minimum of 330 kilograms. It also has 4,000% of the recommended caffeine intake. Dub droppings are seen on the main body of the Quick Fix, which is a reference to Meet the Medic. If a heavy is killed while holding the sandwich, the ammo pack that he drops upon death restores 50 health for all classes but the Scout. Scouts heal 75 health. This is a reference to Meet the Scout, where the Scout steals the heavy sandwich. Once the fire immunity is activated of the Spicicle, the user can survive a pyro taunt without taking damage. Scorch Shot is the only gun that consumes ammo when a taunt is activated. Rockets fired underwater that leave the water retain the trail of bubbles instead of using the regular flame particles used on land. If the Golden Wrench, the Golden Frying Pan, or the Saxi is deleted, a message is broadcasted to all players in the game. The Pain Train was originally designed to be used by the Pyro. Man of War is a gun buy, and these were used by samurai officers in Japan as a means of communication with their troops. They are also used by judges in sumo wrestling competitions. The description of the Black Watch suggests the Bemaman Sticky Bombs were accidentally invented by the desperately sober 5th Battalion of the eponymous Black Watch during an attempt to make liquor out of gunpowder. Torp kills with the hot hand will announce both the torp kill and the slap kill, making it the only weapon with two kill icons. The writing on the Neon Annihilator is the Chinese word for bar. All candy canes are level 25, which refers to the 25th of December, which is Christmas. The festive variant of the ambassador has a different woman engraved on the barrel, holding a mistletoe above her head and hiding a knife behind her back. The Crusader's crossbow doesn't have any strings on it, so it's more of a gun than a crossbow. When the heavy eats the buffalo steak sandwich, the heavy increases its speed to which he swims 248 hammock units a second, which is 10.6 miles an hour. This is almost twice the speed of Michael Phelps' prime swimming speed of 6 miles an hour. Even a soldier with one health holding an escape plan will not be able to outspeed a normal scout. Mantra's damage can be transferred if the enemy landed on also has Mantra's equipped and is standing on a friendly player. Damage meant originally for the enemy player is then multiplied again and then dealt to the friendly player that they are standing on. Label for the Criticola lists the ingredients as water, radiation and sugar. Several lines of random letters also appear on the label itself. A razor back is a type of wild boar commonly found in Australia that is considered to be vermin due to increasing numbers. If it costs $400,000 to fire the minigun for 12 seconds as the heavy claims, at the claim 10,000 rounds per minute, the cost of each bullet would be $200. In the game, the minigun fires 4 rounds every 0.105 seconds, or 2,284 bullets per minute. Going by the in-game rates, the cost of each bullet would be $875.66. The disciplinary action has a hidden statistic which gives it a 70% longer range than most melee weapons, slightly greater than the Islander. The Rap Assassin's description states that the launch baubles fly 145 km per hour, while the actual in-game speed is closer to 206 km per hour, which is the same average speed of pro tennis player serves. Despite the cannonballs visually appearing to be much larger than any of the other Demoman's grenades, the size of the cannonball's hitbox is exactly the same. The Enthusiast Timepiece Cloak Meter was inspired by the Pac-Man tattoo on Gabe Newell's arm. The Flying Guillotine is a legendary range weapon from the Qing Dynasty that is usually in form of a hat. The pronunciation of the Chinese characters are phonetically similar to the English word bro. The word Shahanshah is Persian for King of Kings, a title of Iran's rulers from the time of the Sasanian Empire. For the Rescue Ranger, the amplitude of the sine wave in the monitor is based on the user's metal count. At 200 metal, the wave appears at maximum height. Having no metal renders the wave almost completely flat. Because it's easier to perform complex rocket jumps with the original over the stock rocket launcher, the majority of soldiers in the Premiership Division of the European TF2 League uses the original over the default rocket launcher. To wrangle its professionally handled animals often directed them to perform certain actions. When firing the sentry gun for a long time, an animation plays in which the engineer twitches his hand and a quiet sigh can be heard, as if removing a cramp. The creator of the Scotsman Skullcutter submitted a custom taunt animation which was not implemented. SMGs were initially planned to be primary weapons for the medic and the scout as seen in concept art 
and Trailer 1. In early builds of the game, the SMG originally shot nails before it became a hit scan weapon. The Holiday Punch has an unused kill icon, and it looks like this. The Iron Bomber uses the same reload animation as the grenade launcher. As a result, the bombs being inserted into the bottom left of the chambers are not actually being inserted into the slots at all. In Mafia slang, a big earner is someone who earns large amounts of money for the family. The original concept art of the Darwin Danger Shield also used to include the legs of the crocodile too. Yulong means fire dragon in Chinese, however China Chinese dragons are hardly depicted as fire-breathing creatures at all. The fire ring can also damage enemies while underwater. The reason the Demoman has a golf club is because the modern 18-hole game of golf was invented in Scotland. If the player keeps holding fire after losing with the Beggar's Bazooka, the soldier keeps loading, then misfires during the humiliation, potentially killing players of the winning team. The Toichi is a fictional blind swordsman who appears in many Japanese films. The term half Satoichi is a reference to the demo man having only one eye and the soldier having his helmet over his eyes as opposed to being completely blind. The Kappa's name is an acronym meaning Captain's Advanced Pulsetron Particle Electromagnetic Ray Gun. Conover is a person who manipulates or secretly conspires with others, usually to advance their own agenda. Valve completely forgot to add the weapon attributes to the description of this snack attack. L'Etranger is the French title of an existentialist novel written by Albert Camus in which an emotionally detached French Algerian murders an Arab with a handgun. The main character in the book is widely considered a sociopath due to his cold nature, similar to the spy's cold and murderous actions. The particle effect in the concept art for the Pompson 6000 looked like this. The jag, or cleaning jag, is a tool used to clean firearms and thereby improve their efficiency, which relates to the 30% construction hit speed boost. The year that appears on the Scottish handshake is 1680. It was chosen because it was the year that the notorious pirate Blackbeard was born, which helps it match the Demoman's pirate cosmetic set. When you reflect the Man Melter, it is reflected as a flare gun flare. The Memory Maker is an item that was awarded to players who submitted their entries for the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th or 7th annual Saxi Awards and were the finalists in their respective categories. The appearance of this weapon is intended to loosely resemble that of a sawn down Browning Auto 5 shotgun, which was commonly used in 1930s bank robberies. The weapon name is a reference to Lester Joseph Gillis, also known as Baby Phyllis Nelson, an infamous 1930s era bank robber. The Sandman's name refers to the folklore character reputed to induce sleep by putting sand or dust in the sleeper's eyes. When an enemy pirate blasts the ball and it hits a friendly player, they are slowed but they are not damaged by it. The direct hits radius of the splash zone is roughly 44 hammer units the width of an operational teleporter. A Wonga is a magical charm packet found in the folk magic practices of Haiti. During development, the short circuit was going to be a minigun that opened from the engineer's glove. Valve, however, told the creator they wanted a less powerful electric-based weapon, so it was changed to the current design. The Mad Milk can actually be used to acquire two sniper achievements, Jarring Transition and Number One Assistant. The Diamond Bag is based off the Diamond Bag .357 from Deus Ex. Although a can of Criticola is strapped to the barrel of the soda popper, a Boinkatomic Punch is required instead of the crafting recipe. While coincidentally, early versions of the soda popper had a Boinkatomic Punch strapped to the barrel. The Buff Banner has text on its back reading Screaming Eagles. This is a reference to the United States 101st Airborne Division, nicknamed the Screaming Eagles which explains the soldier's infamous phrase. The weapon script file for syringe gun uses the name Super SMG. In the first tier 2 comic, the Gerati was made once a sniper ingested Saxon Hale Gerati pills, which tripled the size of the sniper's kidneys to produce that much urine. The Frontier Justice, along with the Wrangler, the Gunslinger and the Southern Hospitality appears to have been designed by Radigan Conniger, the engineer's grandfather. This is shown by a hidden link on the engineer's update page. According to the Force of Nature's poster on the Scout update page, the Force of Nature was manufactured in Portugal. Dilocus, spelled backwards, is chocolate, the Russian word for chocolate. The spy disguised as a medic with a vaccinate equipped has the regular medic backpack. The Kukri is still used within various regiments and units within the Indian Army, British Army and Singapore Police Force to date. The term red tape in red tape recorder refers to bureaucracy that hinders or prevents actions or decisions making. Unscoped Sydney sleeper shot can extinguish burning teammates. The Gaia counter is an item based on the M314 motion tracker from the film Alien and HR Geiger, an artist who 
heavily influenced science fiction art and designed many aliens. If the medic kills an enemy spy that kills a teammate, the medic is awarded a kill assist. This also makes it possible for a friendly medic to dominate a teammate if the medic gets credited with enough of the spy's kills on a single teammate. The bucket icons for the fists used to be team colored. When items in the backpack are automatically sorted by type, the fish cake is always sorted among tool items like crates and paints rather than weapons. The name cow mangler is a reference to the association of alien contact with cow mutilation. This originated from American science fiction movies of the 1950s in which aliens would use laser and plasma weapons to cause mutilation to livestock. Sappers are actually considered by the game to be buildings with 100 health. As such, they are immune to critical hits. This means they are not destroyed in one target by a single critical wrench swing. The name Cozy Camper is a play on words to the act of camping in first-person shooters. The name Tommy Slab is derived from the Slavic verb comity meaning to torture or to struggle combined with slava meaning glory or celebration variations of the ubersaw were tested in the team fortress 2 close beta featuring additional downsides such as minus 25 percent damage done or minus 20 health on hit the base in base jumper stands for building antenna span and earth and is obviously a reference to base jumping. The lolly chop is the only pyro melee weapon with a unique taunt to mimic a scene from Meet the Pyro. The Righteous Bison is described as an indivisible particle smasher. Indivisible particle is an archaic definition of the atom. Thus, this item could be read as atom smasher. The phrase atom smasher is a colloquial term for particle accelerator, implying that this item is a handheld particle accelerator, despite it having the slowest projectiles in the world. Sound effects labelled Scattergun Double Shoot have existed in the game files since release. The Force of Nature now uses these sound effects when firing. The pretty machete does not glow when crit boosted. There is a glitch where a sniper wearing the Darwin's Danger Shield cannot be ignited by the gas passer. The Japanese emblem used to decorate the Contra belongs to the Takeda clan, who are a famous line of samurai warlords from the same Goku period. Upon direct hit on a target, a bread monster appears squirming and biting the target's head on the side. If hit more than once, it's possible to accumulate several bread monsters on a single victim, which additionally stacks with any bread monsters from the mutated milk. The team coloured bucket icons were eventually removed from the back. Apparently, the view model of the Travelman ship was meant to be flipped so the sniper would strike from the serrated edge, but required an extra animation which no one wanted to make, resulting in the ship only taking 7.5 hours to make from formulating the idea to submitting it. The name Market Gardener comes from Operation Market Garden, a failed power drop operation during World War II. I didn't realise this, but the power jack is basically just a car battery strapped to a 1910s antique car jack. The pistol, shotgun, reserve shooter and panic attack are all left-handed models, despite all classes holding it right-handed. This is shown by the ejection port being visible on the left-hand side of the gun. The bread bite will snap its jaws when the player punches. Blutsaga means bloodsucker or vampire in German. According to German folklore, the Blutsaga was a boneless vampire-like creature that converted its victims by tricking them into eating soil from its grave. There's a bug with Natasha where it incorrectly lists it as minus 20% damage resistance. Instead, it should be listed as plus 20% damage resistant. There is a glitch with the Quickie Bomb Launcher, where sticky bombs that are automatically detonated after Night Bomb is launched do not destroy enemy no! sticky bombs. There's a bug with the Islander, where killing someone and then switching to another melee weapon with the resupply locker retains the eye effect and boosted shield bash damage on the demo man. A bushwhacker is a term that refers to someone who spends a long time in the bush. Bush refers to rural, undeveloped land or country areas, especially in Australia or New Zealand. The Bitosaur strongly resembles the Adam Harvester from the Bioshock series. Medics using the Amputator can actually get assists when using the Taunt if people get kills in the Taunt area. The Holy Miraculous level is 42, which is a reference to Douglas Adams' book series The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, in which 42 is considered the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. If a player assists a fish kill, the kill icon is not highlighted in the kill feed like other kills and assists. This phenomenon is also seen when you get a kill with the unarmed combat. Eviction is the act of forcibly expelling someone from a property, but is also a euphemism for murder by the mafia. The bottle is full of scrumpy, which is a type of strong cider traditionally brewed in the west country of England. It is usually stored in dark coloured bottles, as this prevents the sunlight from spoiling the contents. The flare gun can actually cause self-damage to the player if positioned very 
close to a wall and shot at a very specific angle. The small explosion produced can be used to clear small gaps similar to the detonator and scorch shot. There's a glitch for the battalion's backup if the user switches to another banner and then touches a resupply locker, the rage is still carried over. Saints Row III was not available for pre-order in the United Kingdom, making the Apocryphus unattainable in genuine quality in that region. In the 1700s, phlogiston was believed to be an invisible floating substance that was released from objects when they were set on fire. The back burner can be inspected while being fired. The Sharp Dresser has a chance to perform a unique inspect animation involving the spy retracting and exposing the blade. The Sun on the Stick was originally intended to use the Boston Bashers stats instead. For the home wrecker, the pyro achievement arsonist can be earned by destroying enemy sappers, since they are all considered buildings. The crossing guard is generally one of the most boring weapons in the game, and I judge anyone who uses it because it has no trivia at all, and you should just be using the pad instead because it makes a cool noise. If you pre-ordered Saints Row the Fourth on Steam, you can actually use the rain blower in-game, which is just weird seeing this in another game. Valve coded it so you can paint the rhythm of the festive bone saw, but this ability got disabled. There is a glitch while equipping the rocket jumper, the user is unable to collect pick up objective items such as beer bottles and body parts in player destruction maps. A level 1 dispenser can refill the cloak meter fast enough to keep the spy cloaked forever. The original drawing animation for the default knife featured a much more elaborate spin. It was cut however for being too long and complicated. Valve feared that this would draw the player's eyes away from the target during a fight. This animation can still be seen in the teaser trailer for Team Fortress 2. The default grenade launcher was initially going to feature two firing modes to choose from, firing regular grenades or remotely detonating grenades. Evidence of these modes can be found in the engine code. The flared wooden section of the Liberty Launcher's barrel, just behind the rear grip, has a crack on the right side. This makes the segment of the barrel look nearly identical to the Liberty Bell. Unlike the default pistol, the winger does not feature a hammer in the back which would strike the firing pin. During development, the crater originally included a hammer, but later removed it to differentiate it from the pistol. Freedom Staff's description references Kofi Annan, former Secretary General of the United Nations. The Free Room Blade was awarded in genuine quality to players who pre-ordered The Witcher 2 on Steam. Or you could be like me and just buy it on the Steam community market because it looks cool. If you are on 1 HP, the Equalizer were hit for 107 damage non-crit, which is the highest melee damage in the game and 42 more damage than the default shovel. The distinctive Tiger Strike paint job of the Detonator is actually a reference to the painted version of the M79 bumper grenade from the movie Apocalypse Now. The AppSap was sold to Manco by the antagonist from Portal, GLaDOS, and this is shown by the description in the weapon. Apart from a low health soldier holding the equalizer, the warrior's spirit is the highest damaging melee weapon in the game with crits. The red projectile model for the sticky jumper was originally added into the war update for the Scottish Resistance, but this was unused in favour of the Scottish Resistance's final projectile design instead. The festive variant of the revolver seems to reuse the original design for the revolver, which is shown in the illustrative rendering in Team Fortress 2. There used to be a bug that caused the scout to infinitely triple jump while in the civilian pose. This was then dubbed the Bird Scout by the community. If you were living in Britain, you couldn't get the mall in genuine quality because people in Britain couldn't pre-order Red Faction Armageddon, showing that Valve hate British people. Fina Carbine's name is a reference to the movie Leon the Professional, the main character of which refers to himself as a cleaner in instead of an assassin. For the Hitman's Heatmaker, if one activates focus and picks up a rifle from the ground, it is possible to enter the focus state while wielding any primary sniper rifle. The Orp Hand item description references the fact that the Orp is commonly banned in Counter-Strike and Counter-Strike Sword community servers. The Spy does not actually put any bullets into the cylinder of the big kill while reloading, due to the model lacking a speed loader. The Heavy named his brass beast Oksana, which is a popular Russian girl's name of Ukrainian origin. The Shovel is based on the M1943 entrenching tool, which explains why the soldier's default melee is a shovel. The early concept of the black box shows an attached scope, much like the one of the direct hit. Black box was also the name of an unreleased disc, which contained only Half-Life 2 Episode 2, Portal, and TF2 from the orange box, ignoring the older games from it. The Iron Curtain is a reference to a quote from the former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, in which he said the Iron Curtain would divide the Soviet Union's territory from the Western democracies. The Greasers 
are emulsifying agents used to remove heavy oils and grease. Since flames consume fats easily, it can be called a literal type of degreaser. In an email response from Robin Walker, he confirmed that the gunboats would have been given to the demo man instead if he had won the war update. The internal file name for the gunboats texture is C underscore rocket boots underscore demo. This item, which literally no one actually likes or has, was awarded in genuine quality to players who pre-purchased Hitman Absolution. Sharpened Volcano Fragment was originally intended to use the Extinguisher's stats instead. In the game files, there's a scrapped weapon mechanic which was intended for the KGB. With it, every kill would earn the heavy and its surrounding allies 50 health regenerated and an additional 10% to their critical hit chances. The downside was that the heavy taunted after every successful KGB kill. The Scottish Resistance is a reference to the period of the extended Scottish uprising against English rule after being invaded in 1296. The Persian Persuader used to convert ammo to health, which made it Demo's best melee weapon for non-Demonites, but then Valve nerfed it in 2015, converting ammo to charge meter. The laser sight visual in the classic is an independent entity and as a result has a delayed reaction time to the player's actions. Thermal Thruster has the most bugs out of all the weapons in the game. You can find all of them in the TF2 wiki. I'm not going to go through them. Gloves are running urgently is an acronym for these Russian words that I'm not even going to bother to pronounce which is the Foreign Military Intelligence Directorate of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation. There is a mistake with the Robo Sandwich where the weapon attributes are actually missing from the weapon description. The Machina's item is based on the phrase Deus Ex Machina, Latin for God out of the machine, a term used to describe a convenient plot device that appears out of nowhere, usually to instantly solve a difficult problem. There is a glitch with the Bat Scratcher where the Crusader's crossbow is unaffected by the stat minus 70% health from healers on wearer, causing full healing to be applied to the pyro. A conscientious objector is someone who refuses military service for ideological reasons. The description of the weapon refers to Give Peace a Chance, a protest song by John Lennon. The name Your Eternal Reward is a reference to a scene in the 1992 film Aladdin, where Jafar fools Aladdin with his disguise and then attempts to murder him with a dagger that Jafar refers to as Your Eternal Reward. In the development stage of Family Business, it was previously named the Soviet Stampede and and the Russian Riot. Weapon is still referred to as the Russian Riot in the game files. For the Bat Saber, the description Energy Overwhelming is a reference to Archon, a unit from the StarCraft series of video games. There is a glitch where if you Ubercharge and then switch to the Overdose, the speed buff stays at whatever percentage the Ubercharge was at at the time of the switch, instead of reducing while the charge drains. But players' versions of the Necro Smasher and the Headless Horseman's Head Taker are identical to the Headless Horseman's versions of these weapons instead of the fact that they are missing the purple glow effect and the blood effect. The shooting star is very good against sentries with a fully charged shot being able to one shot level 1 sentries and bring level 2 sentries down to less than 10 health. For the Fist of Steel, the name of the weapon and the weapon's model was inspired by the one heavy voice clip which proclaimed MY FISTS THEY ARE MADE OF STEEL! This voice clip was later attached exclusively to this weapon. Nostromo is the name of the freighter ship that encounters the Xenomorph appearing in the Alien franchise. The original promotion for the frying pan was supposed to end in 2010, but it was extended forever because it is a goated weapon. The weapon's description of the Black Rose is a play on the phrase, say it with flowers, which is commonly associated with the giving of roses to loved ones. Although the Clay de Moir is named after the Scottish Claymore sword, it appears to be more closely modelled after a Swiss or German wheel hander. Two barrels in the lock and load are similar to the China Lake grenade launcher, which makes the name even more fitting because a lock is a Scottish word for a lake. While on the Ubersaw syringe serves as a visual representation of a medic's Uber charge, it fills slowly as teammates are healed and enemies are attacked with the weapon. Should the player switch to the Ubersaw while the Uber charge is deployed, the liquid can be seen slowly draining from the syringe. There are specific instructions on how to use the wrench to upgrade a sentry, which is included in a document called the Sentry Guns delivery package. The flamethrower was initially going to work similar to the minigun in that it would have a brief period of spin-up before firing. This is evidence in the engine code in a couple of places. The airstrike was meant to resemble the exact bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima in World War II. It can also steal heads when you kill an Islander demo man. If a player getting healed by the amputator's taunt gets hit by the third degree, the medic is hit as well despite not having a connected medibeam. You've got to love the attention to small details by Valve here. An enforcer is a member 
of the mafia who ensures deals are stuck by by using threats or, if necessary, killing people. The tide turner's name is an expression of the phrase turn the tide, which means to reverse the outcome of a situation. The weapon name for the pretty boy's pocket pistol is a reference to Charles Arthur Floyd, nicknamed Pretty Boy Floyd a 1930s bank robber. Unlike the extinguisher and the Ubersaw, Boston Basher did not receive a censored version that removes the blood from it. The weapon's in-game description for the Lugamorph alludes to a running joke in the Sam and Max series, in which the character asks where Max keeps his pistol and other possessions, as he does not wear any clothes. When using the sniper rifle, if the player scopes in and opens the main menu, the zoom display is removed, allowing the player to see as if they were scoped in, while retaining their zoom and charge. Word Eureka is the famous exclamation attributed to the famous Greek philosopher Archimedes, while he discovered how to measure the volume of an irregular object while in the bath. The shortstop's name is a reference to the shortstop, which is the fielding position between second and third base in baseball, which is the scout's favorite sport. Cloak and dagger is a phrase referring to the acts of stealth and secrecy. It originates from the French phrase de cap et d'épée, meaning of cloak and sword. This term describes characters in theoretical productions you quite literally wore these items as part of their costumes. If you look at the Fire Axe page in the TeamFortress.Fandom website, it gives the solid advice of this weapon sucks and is disregarded by everyone. Do not use it when literally any other weapon is available, which is pretty good advice to be honest. The Dragon Fury's unconventional fire mechanic was inspired from that of the incendiary cannon from Team Fortress Classic. The item name and description of the ham shank are wordplay on two different meanings of the word shank, one being a cut of meat and the other being a shiv. A Widowmaker is a dangerous machine or piece of equipment and can also refer to something which takes the lives of men or a lethal hazard that mostly affects men. It's also this big booty character from the worst game in the world. Bizarre Bargain is based on a Giselle, which is a type of handcrafted musket that was commonly used in the Middle East. They had a great advantage in range and accuracy over smooth bore firearms that were commonly used up until the mid 19th century. There's a bug where if a spy changes their disguise from a different class to a demo man, wearing either Alibaba's Wii booties or the bootlegger, the disguise weapon is that of the previous disguise. For example, if they were a pyro wielding the degreaser before changing to a demo man wearing the booties, the disguise still wields the degreaser, even though they are a demo man. The Bat Out of Hell item's name is a reference to the simile, he got there like a bat out of hell. This basically just means very quickly. A backscatter in physics is a diffused reflection towards the direction it came from. Before the Crit Squeak was released, Valve stated in interviews that they were going to add a weapon called the Overhealer, which could permanently overheal teammates to 200% of their standard health, but it would have significantly worsened the Uber charge. This idea was later cancelled after playtesting. However, the model for the Critscree attachment still bears the file name Overhealer. A table in real life is a long wooden pole, usually a section of a tree trunk that is thrown as a feat of strength during the Caber Toss event in the Scottish Highland Games. A second banana is an idiom which describes a person who serves in a supporting or secondary capacity. This references the fact that the second banana is a booby prize, as the heavy loss to meet your match updates heavy versus pyro contest, while the pyro won the main class focus prize, the jungle inferno update. Dead ringer is a phrase used to describe an exact duplicate of something or someone else. The dead ringer part of the phrase refers to a replacement or substitute in sporting events, making the fake spy corpse an actual dead ringer. In March of 2018, a passive effect called sketch text B quest was added to the pirate's weapon the extinguisher which granted the player a speed boost after killing a burning opponent. This was named in honor of the YouTuber SketchTech, a prominent pyro player who was insane at pyro. He claimed in 2015 that he had a terminal illness and it was getting worse and later that year he presumably died. However, in 2019, SketchTech returned and stated that he lied about dying because he wanted to retire from the game as it has ruined his life and he wanted to go out of a bang. In response, Valve then removed the effect. If you want to see the most insane insanely stupid game of TF2 ever, then click the video on the top right and please subscribe.